Hey Cancer, this is your November 2021 reading. I hope that you are well, my loves. So this will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus signs. Um, remember these are general, so it either resonates or it doesn't. I'm going to start with some oracles. We'll get into the tarot. And then wrap up with some oracle cards. If you are new here, welcome. I am Simone, the Moon Goddess from themoongoddess.com. If you are interested in connecting with me, for a personal reading, my details are in the description box. If you want to drop me a tip, that's down below. And all of my socials are down below. So let's get into it, Cancer. Spirit guys, assist me in connecting to Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Venus as well. As always, may all messages be for the highest bit of all involved. With harm to none. one card for cancer so i'm going to start with the wisdom of the oracle got yang loyal heart and flexible okay hang on those were the cards that came out for virgo let me shuffle these properly please if they come out again then we know it's your your cards They're a little too perfect in order. They were too much in order for that to be. All right, let's go again. Give me a card. Give me the cards for Cancer. Give me one card for Cancer. Sorry, Spirit Guides. All right. Three cards came out again. We got Blessed, A Leg Up, and New Life. So it's similar cards, similar energies to what came out before. All right. So you're being supported here. You're blessed. You're being supported here with a leg up. Moving into a new life, new energies. Bottom of the deck is the fates. All right. So this is like a divine connection, a divine happening. You know, you prayed for something and it's happened. It's come in. Um, top of the deck is by the book. All right, so it's like a step-by-step -step life unfolding type of energy. At the heart is mending. All right, so um, repairing relationships, maybe recovering from illness. Um, but there's a regeneration happening here with some new life. Let's get some animal cards out for you. And transformation is beautiful when I cut the deck. Butterfly spirit. We are literally in that season. Scorpio season. Transformation time. Alright, let's get a card out for you. Give me one card for Cancer, please. For November. You have time to collaborate at Spirit. Spider spirit, make your dreams real, and grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Beautiful. So good luck here with grasshopper. Spider spirit is you weaving your web, creating here very lucky energies. And spirit, time to collaborate. While well, bottom of the deck is be peace, dove spirit. This has shown up a few times today. Scarab Beetle Spirit, magic works through you. And at the heart is Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. I love this energy, Cancer. Y'all really coming into y'all selves, blessed, a leg up and new life. A leg up and Ant Spirit, time to collaborate. Same message. Make your dreams real and take a leap of faith blessed and new life even the colors are similar you got two purple cards here all right um a leg up and time to collaborate not quite but similar similar kind of hues and new life and take a leap of faith Even the shape of the cards, new life and grasshopper spirit look quite similar. 
Alrighty, let's get into some tarot cards, my loves. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you today. So that's 10 positions. So let me get my 10 cards or 10 positions filled. And then I will go into breaking down what I feel for you. What's the message for Cancer Spirit, guys? For November. Thank you very much. Y'all's message is so clear, so very clear, so very clear, and it's all connected. Got two more positions to fill. Give me one last card for cancer, please. Okay, two of stars. You got the wheel of fortune here at the bottom. Y'all's cards are so clear. Your first card is you, your energy, the six of cups. And the card influencing you is the Ten of Staffs. Now look at that. The Ten of Staffs is all this energy, all this weight. The Six of Cups is literally looking back at it. It's time to leave that in the past. Collaboration. You're not carrying everything on your own anymore. Connect with like-minded people. Connect with people that you feel a soul connection with. The Six of Cups. All right? Enough is enough. You see you walking away, but you're still looking back. But it's time for you to leave that in the past. You do not have to do everything on your own. The energy underlying this reading is the magician. Time to take action. Take a leap of faith. Go towards what you desire. What you deserve. And literally there's a card here that is about taking a leap of faith. But let me not jump ahead. In your subconscious mind, my loves, is the fourth cups reversed. Which is beautiful. Because perhaps for some of you in the past... You were dealing with situations where people were disappointing you in some way, not not living up to their word or or your expectations, um, letting you down, disappointing you, and you were a little bit hesitant about accepting things from others, accepting help. Maybe that's why you've been doing everything on your own. But now with the four cuts reversed, it's like you've been having this thought or in November you find yourself really, really um, getting comfortable with the idea of connecting with others, collaboration, partnering up with people, uh, accepting help from other people. In the past is the queen of staffs. You had it all. You could, you know, you could do it all. The magic is here. You're you magical, right? It's that um, spider web type of energy, that spider energy. Queen of Stars, confident, you were out there, you were doing it all, but it was exhausting. It is exhausting you. You don't need to do that. Now it's time to do things different. The fool is here. Taking a leap of faith. Now you want to take a leap of faith, but you're not going to back off of a cliff, all right? So there is still a need to be cautious and trust your intuition not everybody you're supposed to connect with all right you don't want to repeat those cycles again you want to learn from that learn from what's happened but what i feel though is that the energy coming is naturally a good energy but don't get to the point where it's like oh well now i got this help i can really slack you know and you start to enjoy way too much where you were doing a hundred percent of the task now it's split you might start to be, you might start to decide, oh, I can stay a, a little longer than I normally would because now I don't need to do everything on my own. And then you can get way too comfortable. So still maintain, 
still maintain, right? Still maintain boss mode. Don't overindulge, right? Enjoy feeling a little lighter, but don't overindulge. Your word of advice is the high priestess. So really trusting your intuition here. Again, when people present their credentials, you read in between the lines. You know, people have a way of making themselves sound a lot more than they are, a lot more grand than they are. So when you're reading creden credentials, you're really reading and rereading and, and really feeling out, can we work together? Does, do, does our dynamic work? Do we flow together? And this is even with those who might not have businesses or their own thing going on. This is even with employers. Because for some of you, you might have been scouted in some way. You know, maybe you had a product and somebody wants to buy you out. Um, you're still a part of the process, but now you have other people involved. Like, you still got to read and reread, right? And inspect. You inspect your employer just as much as they inspect you. Or, or the person, or the investor, or what, whoever. Five of staffs is your external influence. So you see there could be some competition here. People might be competing with you and you don't even know. Which is why you got to be extra cautious with who you connect with. But I feel like if you trust your intuition, y'all are highly intuitive. Y'all feel out energy. Y'all know. You wouldn't have anything to worry about. It might also be that this is an energy that's stirring you up to take action in releasing some of the burden. You know, it's like a, a lesson here or people rubbing you the wrong way or a situation and it's like, this this thing will ever happen again, I'm done. I can't do this to myself anymore, let me get help. That five of stars might be the energy. It might just be the, the match, you know, that gets you to realize just how blessed you are and to expand yourself page of cups the knight of staffs and the seven of coins is potential obstacles blockages hopes and fears so there's an offering here you can see which direction you can go in or actually you're seeing the direction you want to go in and there is still this you might be looking to micromanage because it's your baby and you don't know if you're ready to like hand over all the power or some of the power to somebody else. It might be for some of you um, stepping out into broader like charting, um, heading to different to, to, to broader territories it might make you feel stressed. It might feel burdensome. Right, because it's it's change, it's a big change and you might be worried about that. But I don't feel that you need to because you've got the two of staffs here, which is about cooperation, working with another and also looking at what you have and how it can get bigger. Like I have this energy. How can I I have these two staffs? How can I make them three, four, five, six, seven, right? The expansion. So you are in a position of expansion right now. Did I mention the Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom? I don't remember if I did. Let's get some oracles out for you. I need one article for, for Cancer, please, Spirit Guys, for November. No. Okay, let's go again. New one card for Cancer. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Cancer, your card is ask for help from others. Um, yes, with an exclamation point is at the bottom. <laughs> Top of the deck is no need to worry. At the heart is opportunity. 
Wow, y'all's reading is so clear. Perfect timing, opportunity, recovery. As much as these are love cards, let me see if anything comes out. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what I was going to say. Let's see if something comes out that could correlate with collaborate, collaboration. I mean, the person you're thinking about could be a lover as well. Because we do work with our partners, right? Our romantic interests. So it could even be that. But let's see what comes through with these love cards. Give me a card for Cancer Spirit Guides. You deserve love. You are lovable. Right? You deserve help. You deserve a leg up. You deserve um, collab somebody who's willing to work with you. Y'all see eye to eye. So even if it's not, whether it's romantic partners or otherwise, you're lovable. You're lovable on many different levels, right? You deserve support. At the bottom is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. At the heart is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, right? And you and, you and another person. You can't do it all. And you can't do it all, all the time. You need to take a break too. But don't overindulge, right? Remember the fool is there. All right, what is the final message for cancer, please, spirit guides? Give me one card for cancer, please. Thank you. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Wow. So this is a very business oriented, well, I mean, very business oriented, but it could also be different types of relationships. Your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams, wow, I just remembered this card, Spider Spirit, make your dreams real. Take a leap of faith, grasshopper spirit. Your dreams need a practical plan. Bottom of the deck, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. You have a fiery climax approaches for moon in Aries. And at the heart is bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Wow, okay. A time to give rather than take. Um, reciprocal. You give, you receive, you receive, you give. All that good stuff. Cancer, that's your message for November. This was amazing. Drop a comment. Give me a thumbs up. So subscribe if you're new. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful November. Bye-bye.